Max, and on today's video, we're gonna talk about starting over. Now that I have your attention, we're also gonna be selecting the winner of the $100 giveaway, so let's get into it. Most of you have already seen the videos, right, on here on YouTube, the Instagram posts, maybe even on TikTok, where you have individuals go around asking entrepreneurs, business owners, what would they do if they were to start over? And that's what I wanna talk about today. And most of them get some very, very high insight into what they would do if they were starting their business over. Some of them would say, you know, they give like two or three top things of what they would do. It helps out quite a bit of people, especially for the new ones. So what I wanna do on this video today is I wanna talk about what I would do in my sales career. I'm gonna give you my top three things of what exactly I would do if I was starting over today. Most of you actually don't know that I've been involved in some way or somehow in sales. I've loved sales. I've always strived to get into a sales position because it allows me to make the most money that I can make without being capped out like you would in, a, in an hourly job or you know a salary job. But it wasn't actually to about three and a half years ago that I actually started sales training professionally. And this is where the big change came in. And when I talk about the three points a little bit later of what I would do or the three things that I would do if I was starting over in my sales career I'm gonna touch base on that aspect of what I want to talk about today so what has it done for me as far as uh, sales training professionally it has allowed me to be a better communicator listen a lot more and not only grow my business but it's also helped me personally I'm gonna share with you a little story that I actually happened about a year and a half ago once I started to get better and once I started getting into more details on the sales training but yeah my business has grown because I've, I've been involved some way some sort sales training professionally but here's the cool thing is that it's also helped me personal and it can help you too. About a year and a half ago, we were getting ready to book a vacation. So I was actually on this website trying to book a resort with adjoining rooms. So one of the things that it was, the website was a little bit hard to use, right? Difficult. Most of you that, you, that you've been on those websites trying to book adjoining rooms, what happens is a little frustrating because they don't have them to where you can book them together. So what did I do? I ended up calling the resort and here's one thing that we have. It's, it's a tactic that we use. It's called not, uh, not okay. So basically, Basically, what we do is we default to not being okay and not knowing what's happening. And here's what I did. I ended up calling and the first individual that picked up, I actually did this. So I want you guys to take this key point away. When he picked up the phone and said, hello, one of the th first things that I say is, I don't know if you can help me. Um, I'm a little lost here. Uh, don't know what to do. I'm not sure if you're the right person. What did I just do there? I put myself in that not okay stage so they can come and rescue me. So guess what he did? The next things that he did, he actually postured up. I can hear it on the other end and he started hitting his keyboard a lot harder because he wanted to solve my problem. He goes, wait a minute, I can help you out. So he started doing his thing. He started going on, on his system. And then he goes, you know what? I have two adjoining rooms that I can get to you. I said, oh wow, so you can help me. And he he says yes but here's the cool thing is that he asked me are you a returning guest now another key thing that you want to listen to and maybe write this down is that we don't answer questions directly we answer a question with a question so guess what was my response to him is there a difference? That was my question to him when he asked me if I was a returning guest. And he said, yeah, if you're a returning guest, we can give you a discount. But you know, obviously I wanted to be honest. So I said, you know what? I've never been to this resort, so I'm not a returning guest. But because I was already lost, I was already, you know, in that not okay stage, guess what he did? He said, you know what? For all the troubles, I'm gonna give you that discount. And I ended up getting almost a $700 discount off my stay from that resort. Basically because he felt like the hero and he wanted to help me. In this video, we're obviously talking about starting over. So if you're just starting in your sales career, I'm gonna give you three tips on how you can improve yourself. This is what I would do if I was starting over. I'm gonna give you the first one, roll it. The first thing that I would do if I was starting over in my sales career is I would actually get better at communication. So what I mean by that, there's a lot of books out there that will help you to be a better communicator. Now, you don't have to learn big words. You don't have to learn words that are used at a professor level, not anything like that. I'm talking about how to communicate correctly, properly. There's books out there that will help you. And I'm actually gonna put some books in the link in the description below. So that way you guys can go after that. Now, why would I wanna do that? Because 
because a lot of us in sales actually don't have that type of training, right? We don't have that training to be a good communicator. And what I mean by that is getting our point across, right? And not only getting our point across, but not sounding like you're trying to sell them, like you're trying to close them, like you're trying to get the sell. That's the last thing that you wanna do. You wanna be a better communicator when it comes to solving the problem for your prospect. So I would recommend if I was starting over in my sales career, one of the first things that I would do is find books on how to be a better communicator so you're able to get your point across without sounding salesy. That will help you. That's what I would do if I was getting started. Let's go to point number two. Roll it. Mindset. Now, before you go and turn off the video, that's not what I'm talking about. I know most of you heard a lot of things about mindset, but what I am talking about when I say mindset is actually believing. And here's what I mean by that. A lot of sales training programs out there, what happens is they teach technique. They teach you little things to say, you know, how to hard close, how to ask for the sale. But what they don't teach you is the actual mindset. So let's say you're somebody that's wanting to get involved in sales or you're just starting out. Now, if it was me and I, and I was starting out from today, known, knowing what I know now is I would work Work not only on my communication but on my mindset as well because a lot of us are programmed are wired as we grow up to have certain beliefs right like some of us have never talked about money some of us have never been taught you know it's okay to talk to strangers right Man, our whole life we been don't talk to strangers don't say you know what, what you're thinking so we have to make sure that's what I'm talking about working on your mindset what is your beliefs on money what is your beliefs when trying to get strangers to make decisions those are things that you're gonna run into and and those are things that are gonna be a roadblock if you don't work on them. So if I was starting over, I would not only work on communication, but I would work on rewiring myself to have a different mindset when I approach sales, when it comes time to talk about money, when it comes time to ask for the sell. Because here's the thing, your beliefs are gonna be reflected on your prospect. So the way you buy, the way you see money, and the way you see certain things, you're gonna be reflecting those on your prospect and you're not gonna get the sell. So recommendation, we talked about you know getting better communication but this is the big piece this is the one in the middle that's gonna teeter-totter everything is work on developing a new mindset so you can get the sell let's go to number three roll it but before we do that I want to announce the winner of the $100 giveaway is actually buy with Bernadette from Phoenix, Arizona. She's actually a realtor here so congratulations Bernadette for winning the $100 I will be in touch with you soon the last thing I wanna talk about if I was starting over and I was financially able to, I would invest in a sales coach. Here's two reasons why I recommend investing in a sales coach if you're just starting out and you're able to financially. Number one, they're gonna help you to be able to learn a lot of things that I talked about, which is getting better at communicating the correct way, and secondly, getting better at mindset and the way you approach sales. And the second thing is that they're gonna be able to help you launch your career a lot faster so you don't have to make those costly mistakes mistakes, avoid a lot of things that happen when you learn on your own. When I was getting started, and if I was to get started again, and I, was, and I wasn't a financially able to do it, which I wasn't when I initially got started, I had an hourly pay, had so many bills, but I knew I wanted to get better in my skill. I actually went to, where else? YouTube University. I didn't know anything better back then, so I would look at certain individuals to help me. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips for you to look out for when you're looking for a sales coach on the YouTube University. Or you can go and follow me on Instagram where I have over 700 posts that's gonna help you on the exact same thing that we're talking about today for free. It's free real estate. Now, if you decide to look for a sales coach on YouTube University, here are two things that you wanna look for like I promised you earlier. Number one, is your sales coach helping you to be a better communicator? Or does he sound cheesy? Is he using tactics? Is he using things that will automatically red flag you as a salesperson? You wanna try to avoid all that because you wanna stand out, you don't wanna blend in. The second thing that you wanna look out for is are they teaching mindset? Remember we talked about that? Most sales coaches, they teach technique. Say this when you're at this part of the appointment say that when you're at that part of the appointment now that's all good and dandy but if your mindset is not on point and you're not believing those things it's gonna be very unnatural and difficult for you to be able to execute at a high level with those things so just to make this video short and get you going because I want you to take action is look out for those two things when you're looking for a sales coach on YouTube University if you made it this far on the video like subscribe and my favorite thing is I always like to hear feedback put in the comment section what was your biggest takeaway from this video so i can hear your thoughts max out